First, I'll be dropping the video in the workspace and I'll be cutting the parts that I'll be using for the keyframe. I'll be cutting the parts where the transition is located, so let's start. Now we will be adding the keyframe. I'll be adding the keyframe from start, middle, and at the end. After that, click the keyframe panel. Once you see the this panel, you can adjust it by clicking the right arrow and choose from the keyframe option. Now you can adjust the keyframe depending on your preference. You can follow what I'll be doing for this video so that you can have the guide on how to use the keyframe panel. We can proceed onto the next clip. Follow what I did earlier and you can change the keyframe. Just choose from the options. You can explore this keyframe panel and customize it. For this last clip, I'll be scaling this one for it to have a zoom effect focusing on the direction of the car and add some keyframe as well. I'll be adjusting the keyframe to make it more smooth when played.